Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and we have a doozy of a Fallout 76 news update. So we've heard of the Tricentennial Edition, the Power Armor Edition, of course there is the Standard Edition for Fallout 76, but then did you know about the Platinum Edition? We'll be going into all of that today. The source is PCGamer.com, which I will have linked in the description down below. And now, let's take a dive into this very expensive edition of Fallout 76. So the headline reads, Fallout 76 Platinum Edition costs $115 doesn't include Fallout 76. The article goes on to say, as the Fallout 76 beta approaches, those who want to participate may be mulling over which edition of Fallout 76 to buy. There are several to choose from, the Fallout 76 Standard Edition, the Tricentennial Edition, or the Power Armor Edition. And then there's the Fallout 76 Platinum Edition. Thing about the Platinum Edition that you might want to make note of is that the $115 price tag doesn't include the actual game of Fallout 76. It does have lots of Fallout 76 stuff though. There's a collector's case, a number of concept art prints, three 64 page mini journals for you to take notes in, some postcards, a double sided map poster, and a collector's edition Prima guide, both physical and digital. I bring this up mainly because while on Bethesda's site, it is pretty clear for careful readers that the Platinum Edition doesn't include the actual Fallout 76 game, it says it even twice, this Amazon listing, where it's discounted for a few bucks, doesn't make it so clear. You have to click read more, and even then, it's way down at the bottom in italics. The Platinum Edition also doesn't ship until December. Now I did go to Bethesda's site versus Amazon, and both of them are kind of tucked at the bottom in italics, except I think the text on Bethesda's site is still much bigger, but I imagine many parents getting their kids gifts to accompany their game are going to assume this is the game itself and make the wrong decision time and time again. Just given that the price tag be there's $115, I think most people could safely assume, all right, about like 40-ish dollars for the actual strategy guide and then, and all the little doodads, and then the game comes with it, right? Nope. Now, Pete Hines had responded in defense of this strategy guide because a person who expressed displeasure with said Platinum Edition had tweeted at him to Pete saying, it's a strategy guide by Prima. It's not a version. Of the game. Now look, I remember exactly the last time I got a strategy guide for the game. It was the original Xbox and it was Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, one of my favorite games of all time by the way. I absolutely adore this title, it has so much personality and quirkiness, but anyway, as a kid growing up, I had no idea how to get through some of these levels because they were kind of puzzle based. You had to think your way through and if you didn't do it right, well, you actually wouldn't be able to complete the level and you could get stuck because if you didn't hard save properly and there wasn't auto saving, there was quick saving, you could really screw yourself over fast. So it was helpful. I remember exactly being $20, my dad and I went to get it together. That wasn't too bad and it helped me out through the game. With Fallout 76, it's a very different story. Of course, modern gaming, I feel, holds your hand a little bit more, but also, in the case of Fallout 76, we have this guide releasing in December. Now, I'm assuming that by then there will be some event or form of fresh content, and obviously down the line, more to come for Fallout 76. So the question that pops in my mind is, how valid is this strategy guide until the game expands so much that it's pretty much pointless to invest in? Considering that Fallout 76 is going to be supported for years by Bethesda, I imagine there will be a point in time where all the expansion content is bigger than the actual base game that launched as itself. So why charge so much for something that's coming out months after the game that will be a limited run kind of thing, not helping out a ton of players in the long run. Yes, we do have one point of defense here, it's that the base game will always and forever be there, which people can be guided through. But at the end of the day, I also, as much as I love strategy guides for that nostalgia factor, I wonder how many people find them still practical because you can literally go on YouTube and type in any type of walkthrough tips you need and you can usually find someone giving you some advice on how to get through whatever you're stuck on. I feel like if strategy guides want to stay relevant, they shouldn't be charging this much and packaging in useless doodads like three 64 page mini journal. Quite honestly, when I look at it, anything in there except the collector's case doesn't really jump at me on why the price got jumped up so much. We have the strategy guide, which like I said, in my head, all right, maybe like $40, but you have a poster, postcards, some journals, concept art, and a case, and we're charging $115, and that's without tax or shipping? That's ludicrous, that's insanely overpriced, and I hope Bethesda 
tries to revise this because it's coming out way after launch so most people who are holding on to fallout 76 are probably going to have the game solved by then and there will be walkthroughs already up on youtube and all over the internet where this thing just feels forced for a couple of extra bucks and maybe a, a standard for bethesda of like we have to do the strategy guide right anyway if you are planning on getting a edition of fallout 76 just make sure it's not the platinum one because you won't get the game which has become a weird standard in our industry i think state of decay 2 was a title that did a collector's edition without the game like who in their right mind thinks this is a smart idea if you want to sell a component of the product couple it all together into a single package that way it is a convenience factor it's all there it's more attractive to the consumer why make us go all over the place getting all these separate products when you could just for a christmas gift get the platinum edition for a brand new fallout fan that gives you the strategy guide all the little things inside here and the game doesn't that make much more sense and if it was still 115 dollars maybe that would be a little bit more easy for consumers to swallow anyway rant over i just wanted to share with you guys this hilarious edition uh it seems bethesda is unable to resist the allure of expensive editions without the actual game being included in it itself i also wonder if there's going to be a separate listing just for the strategy guide just the physical strategy guide because i do have that for fallout 4 it's the fallout 4 survival guide and so i wonder if 76 will have something similar to that Dear God, as I'm editing this video, I see right now that there is in fact a Fallout 76 strategy guide that's coming on launch day for $50, which is exactly what happened with Fallout 4. So I'm really confused. What is the point of the Platinum Edition? So pretty much the base price of this strategy guide is $50 to Bethesda. Then we look at all the little extra things they add in the Platinum Edition, and for them, that's an extra $65. My mind is blown. What is happening? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Do fire away, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all, peace.